Cisco Redis configuration on Cisco Packet Tracer. In this Packet Tracer example, we'll configure Redis on Cisco routers. Firstly, we'll configure our IP addresses, our interface IP addresses of the router and uh, the uh, IP addresses of the PCs. And after that, we'll configure our uh, server IP address and uh, server to replace settings. Uh, we will add the users uh, to the radius server. And then we'll configure a router for a radius. Now let's try to configure our IP addresses on PCs. Yes, now uh, let's configure our router interfaces. And we are saving our configuration. Yes. Now let's uh, configure the server IP address here. And uh, before this, let's uh, ping our PCs to check our configuration, our IP configuration. Yes, it's okay. And for the second PC, it's okay. This is the IP address uh, of our server and after uh, this we'll uh, configure uh, the triple A settings here. Uh, here our uh, client name of the router for example we'll say router1 and client IP is 10.0.0.1 we'll write this IP address, this interface IP address of the router and uh, the secret we can say that ABC123 here and now uh, we will add uh, the users uh, we will add Aragorn and password ABC Aragorn and Arvan and password ABC Arvan you can give any password here Yes. Okay. Now let's do the main configuration parts uh, on the router. Here we will uh, use uh, AAA new model. This will uh, tell the router that we will use TACAX uh, or a radius. And uh, then we will uh, enter our radius server address. Uh, as you can see, our radius server address uh, is. Uh, 10, 0, 0, and 2, and uh, we will uh, be, have defined a keyword, uh, a general keyword, ABC123, as you remember. Uh, and after this, we will uh, define the default uh, router log login, uh, default router authentication uh, login part. 
and user videos, triple A authentication, login, and default, and group radius and local command here. Uh, after this uh, configuration, uh, the router's default login uh, mechanism will be uh, radius. And uh, after that, uh, let's configure our telnet sessions uh, default authentication uh, login yes okay now to save our configuration hit copy running config start on config yes now let's test our uh, radius configuration uh, by connecting uh, with the uh, newly defined users uh, first let's check our uh, radius uh, server uh, service again and uh, as you can see our passwords uh, and users are here and uh, our service is off uh, you need to open this service firstly and then uh, let's connect the router Yes, Aragorn and ABC Aragorn, we will connect with this. It's case sensitive, so be careful. Aragorn and ABC Aragorn. Yes. We can configure the router here. Okay. Now, let's log out and try with Arvan. Yes, it's also okay. Now let's try a telnet from here. For example, R1 ABC R1. Yes, it's okay. In this configuration example, we have configured our Cisco router for Radius authentication and then we have defined users on Radius server and we have connected to this router with these users.